all the reasons to make it impossible. Because my name is Taffrey16, and welcome back to another episode of Reading Your Comments, episode 213 of the Sunday, or maybe Saturday if you're watching us daily on Patreon. For those on other Patreons, have the option to watch these, as well as the reaction videos up to a day early, sometimes more. And get your name down below in the video description as well. Uh, but regardless what day you're watching us so on, let's go ahead and read some comments. Patiently waiting for Doctor Who to come out so I can do my uni work while watching it. Uh, for some reason, I work a lot better while watching your videos. <laughs> Bad guys don't come out with it, and he fails. <laughs> It's good. It's, it's outside my window. I failed Yoni because of you. Yeah, you know what? Just, just, to, just to spite you, I'm gonna wait to the end of the month. <laughs> Looking forward to season four of Doctor Who this month. Definitely one of the best in modern Doctor Who era. I have heard that. I, I'm, I'm very excited for. It. Odds are, I won't wait to the last day of the month. Uh, it might be last week because it's gonna take a while to record, but it probably won't be last day because I am very excited for it. With all these full series in a row, it's not a rest of us playing catch up. Yeah, how does it feel? <laughs> Unless you've seen it before. But I mean, I, I think, again, like I've said, there's so many shows to do in so little time. Who knows how much time I have left with this, so might as well watch everything while I can. Your thought about reacting to the BBC series Bodyguard? No, I'm not familiar. To be honest, I'm aware of the movie The Bodyguard, which was uh, a bad film with uh, Whitney Houston, although it had one of the greatest soundtracks of all time. Her, her cover of uh, I Will Always Love You by Dolly Parton, that cover, that, that came from that movie. Um, so it's a weird movie. It's not a good film, but legitimately one of the best film soundtracks ever. Any more plans to watch more Ghosts in the future? Yeah, I got two more series. I'm halfway through the show, uh, and I'll be doing it by series in the future. It's easy to record, so yeah, I think so. I know I was wondering if you'll be reacting to more Red Dwarf anytime soon. Thanks for the reactions. You do, no problem. And Red Dwarf is something else I'll be doing in bulk. I've done it so randomly, I'm not sure how. The only thing I know for sure is I'm I, I'm not going to jump any further than... Um, than the final Ace Rimmer episode, which I've seen. I'm not going to go further than that um, until I've done everything before it. So we'll probably start from back from the beginning and fill in the blanks. Keep going with British Empire. I've never seen past series two because I've never been able to find it anywhere. It's all on YouTube. To be honest, you can find it all on YouTube or Dailymotion. There's no copyright on the show, so if you look for it on YouTube, it's pretty easily easily accessible. No spoilers, but the only time I don't like Gordon Burris is when he's meaning to call it. You know, that really, my character assessment really took a hit there. I'm not gonna lie, because my whole character assessment was, oh, you know, he doesn't mean anything he's saying. He's never beat on purpose. But in that moment, <laughs> he was absolutely beat on purpose. I love more Fry and Laurie reactions. It's a great show that's never boring, but honestly, anything in which they star in together is worth a watch. That chemistry is always great, and their real-life friendship is heartwarming. It was really different, too, because, like, I've, I've said this multiple times already, but, uh, again, nothing against bouncing off the wall sketch shows, like Mortimer and, um, Mortimer and what's his name? Reeves. Reeves and Mortimer. <laughs> Reeves and Mortimer. Uh, <laughs> I was like, yeah, Reeves and Mortimer. Nothing like, nothing like that. Like, nothing against shows like that. Um, but it is fun for a, cha for a change of pace where it's not bouncing off the wall, rather just funny. And that's what Fry and Laurie was. It wasn't insane. It was just funny. Jeremy wonders out loud where Eggheads got their pop knowledge. It's called a Radio Jezza, evidently, uh, which you have a show on. I got a dragon question here. <laughs> you know, I mean, I, I I don't remember the last time I listened to the radio, to be fair. I, 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 I usually use just like Spotify and stuff now. Um, but then again, I don't go in cars often, to be fair. So I'm probably not the best person to ask on that. But... I, 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 and I'm sure there's, you know, just specified radio stations you can listen to, but even so, pop music is hard to avoid. Especially if you watch television, too. They usually use them for, like, commercials and shit. I wonder if when the jackpot builds up to a sizable amount, the eggheads can be bribed to throw a game and split the prize. It's not a bad idea, honestly. It's worth a shot. I'd probably try it. <laughs> I think Scar was trying to tell something without directly saying it. Yes, two requests with furries in it. Clearly, Scaro really likes game shows. Also, your furry name should be Taft Giraffe. That's a good one. That's a good one. I'm gonna buy a giant ass giraffe suit. <laughs> I'm just gonna walk around downtown, brothers. Furry vlog coming soon. <laughs> I've just come out from under a rock was with the whole postmodern family sass. Oh, it's just an old joke. And it doesn't matter anymore anyway. They're gone. They, uh, they up and quit, like over a year ago, I think, at this point. I think, again, I heard Felipe became a vicar and all that, so, you know, good for him, but it, it, we've talked about it before a little bit, and all I'll say is, all I'll say is what I said before. If I was gonna up and leave, I would have left a note, you know? Like, I, I wouldn't, I, I, if I, if I 
ever quit, you'll know about it. You know, I'm going to say, hey, you know, I'm, it's not working, I'm out. You know, I'm not just going to up and leave it and disappear. I, I think that's kind of disrespectful to your audience to just up and leave. But it, it also, you know, kind of shows how they viewed their audience, you know, more more of a paycheck than anything. And don't get me wrong, that is part of it for everybody, obviously. But that more than likely was their only motivation. It's been a while since I've seen this Only Fools episode. It's one of my top favorites. Uh, just a simple one set episode, but it's really well written and acted. Dell Street Smarts and Confidence really came to good use. Yeah, again, it, it's cool to see his confidence go the other way because he's so overconfident, and a lot of times that works to his detriment. But it, it's nice to see an episode where he uses it to basically save all their asses. The story of why James Blunt auctioned his sister on eBay was explained when he appeared on Top Gear. He was on Top Gear? Uh, apparently his sister was due to attend a wedding in the Republic of Ireland, but travel arrangements fell through. Uh, James put her on a site seeking a white knight to help. Uh, a man who owned a helicopter stepped up and just got her to the wedding on time. The last comment was that James' sister and a pilot got married themselves. Shit, I'm gonna write that down and sell it to the Lifetime Network. I can make a film out of it and I'll be fucking rich. That arson song broke the record for lowest ever weekly sales of a UK number one, selling only 17,694 copies. Hmm, there's a Pirates of the Caribbean meme in here somewhere. You are without doubt the worst pirate I've ever heard of. But you have heard of me. No wonder David Bowie is a fan of Secret Machines. You can certainly hear some similarities in the music. Not just the music, I mean, same gimmick, you know? Ziggy Stardust was an alien, and their whole gimmick was aliens. There you go. 2023 James, where are you now? He's on Twitter, I believe. Uh, a semi is also a house in the UK, short for semi-detached. Hmm, is it really though? Or is that what that pervert James Blunt wants you to believe? You should do a Top of the Pops episode from your birth year. Yeah, I mean, that'd be safe, 1998. Um, that was the last episode I did. Was that, the last episode I did was like 92, I think. Um. I wonder who was hosting by the time we got to 1998. I'm sure I had some interesting music though, so yeah, that could be fun. I'm off to Waterloo Station uh, to see if I can find that locker with a thousand pounds in it. Well, I mean, you could find it, providing I don't get there first! Alright, y'all, that's gonna do it for another episode of Reading Your Comments. The comments in this video were pulled from the following videos. Uh, last week's episode of Reading Your Comments, number 212, British Empire 12 and 13, A Bit of Fry and Lori, Eggheads, Only Fools and Horses 23, Top of the Pops 2, and Step Tono and Son 3. If you want a chance to get your comment read, uh, uh, next week's episode of Reading Your Comments, the videos to comment on are as follows. This video, the reaction video that came out yesterday, which was Tenable. The reaction video that comes out tomorrow, which will be on Park Trip 3. The reaction videos that come out Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Those are the videos to comment on if you want a chance to get your comment read in next week's episode of Reading Your Comments. But that is it for me today. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to leave a like. If you didn't like it, don't. If you want to follow any of my social media links, my Twitch, or streamer, single day, my second channel, Freaks Teen Views. Also, I'm coming out with a review on my second channel, Freaks Teen Views. I'll be reviewing the film Bully. Uh, that'll come out later today. Uh, uh, also, my uh, Twitter, Patreon, everything else if you want to support me are all in the video description down below. As well as my Twitch VODs channel and the community Reddit. Thank you to all my patrons who are also named in the video description. If you didn't know, you can be a patron of me for as little as one dollar one pound. Uh, and you get access to direction videos, rules where you comment up to date early. Uh, sometimes more. Uh, for that being said though, my name is Taffer. This has been my episode 213 of Reading Your Comments. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.